infrastructure. This conference will now be recorded. Our enterprise structure is properly, you know, maintained that we don't go back to on a store location or a vendor or something like this. In this way that we have to follow the steps, you know. So in this training system, it is not possible to maintain enterprise structure is correct because so many people are working. OK, yeah. so whenever that issue comes just as a consultant or learning purpose, that time we will maintain it. Yeah. OK, so whenever you get the issue also same, you can you need to find out what is the solution because this yeah. is not our dedicated system. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. So once again, I will explain you this can burn now. Okay, little bit confusion yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, once again, I'm explaining you. First thing is example uh, material. Okay. You should have a some material. Okay. And I will explain you once again. Okay. First thing is you need to create a material and supply area that is the master data okay for example i will take the material another material maybe you have the tractor or something okay what is the other material okay mm03 under tractor you have a yeah blade is there okay yeah. i will take this material today okay so you don't require to create again another material Right. Tractor. Is a, that's a raw material. Yeah. Blade. Okay. The next thing is the supply area. Okay. Supply area is where you uh, want to keep the material in the production. Right. Okay. Supply area is nothing but a we can say demand source where you want to keep your material. Yeah. So supply area means where you want to use this material boxes. Okay. That mm -hmm. area is nothing but a supply area. Okay. Supply area and that you need to create how to create I will show you now that is nothing but a storage location okay that is nothing but a storage location so in this storage location example you want to keep storage location your uh, assembling area storage location is like triple zero one okay this is your storage location so you can create another supply area okay pk05 is the transaction code enter here plant and click ok and you can create a new entries enter plant and supply area any supply area number <laughs> okay supply area for tractor blade tractor yeah okay. blade. and enter the storage location your production storage location is zero one okay. and now and this response. is storage this is storage location is uh is the production area right yeah production area correct production assembling area mm -hmm. okay so here yeah, yeah. yesterday we got a confusion if yeah, this yeah. is uh, the the many does mean where we manufacture the product maybe it has correct. to have dif different storage location because storage location we have zero zero one in our warehouse maybe yeah. that right usually correct. maybe this correct. one should be yeah, I don't know what you think. We just there we got confusion for this one. Yeah. Correct. Okay, no problem. Okay, let me. Okay, but if it is a storage uh, location, I, can I use yeah. another store location? Zero two is also there. Yeah, maybe we create zero two yesterday. That's right. So we we should say 
just uh, just I'm double check uh, Wasu because they ask you yeah. this one they need they ask us the storage location in, the, in our warehouse or in the in the manufacturing area. Manufacturing I mean, area. Here water oh, yes. we are putting. This is a manufacturing area. Okay. So what what is our storage location in our warehouse in this case? What is the number? You can use triple zero two or ten. Yesterday I created two store locations. Okay, okay, perfect, no problem. Okay, no problem. We we okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Does does mean the transfer post transfer posting now will happen between zero 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 two to zero 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 one? Is that right? This is what this is what we should zero zero two to zero zero one. Correct. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Thank you. Correct. Thank you. Exactly. Word. Perfect. Thank you. That is correct. Okay. Okay. So once you enter the storage location, is it clear, Jamal? Any question? So the 001 storage location is in a in a production area, right? Yes. Triple zero one is the storage location, which is in production uh, area. Correct. Area. Okay. Okay. So now you can save this. So this is supply area SA02. The These supply, two are the supply area yeah. is uh, where is the three uh, supply areas was right? Where is supply area means this area where you are assembling. This is supply area. Yeah. And the storage location 001 is which one? Okay. Zero zero example, you can see this person is manufacturing. He need maybe four or five materials, mm -hmm. not only one material. So these four or five materials I can ascend to this supply area, complete area. Mm -hmm. It is under supply area, you define the store location because all the movements means inventory, you should have a store location. So this is a a 001 storage location is this one. Correct. Okay. Okay. So once you define this one, uh -huh. the next step is you will create a Kanban cycle. Supply area. Okay. Okay. Create a Kanban cycle. For this transaction code is PKMC. Open this transaction code. Enter plant. Your supply areas. We create a new supply area SA02, and then click on Change Mode, and then click on this Create button. Okay. Put the re responsible. The responsible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Is it the uh, uh, yeah. yeah, already we maintain this in a supply area. This is only okay. selection. Okay, okay, not okay, enter okay. Also no problem. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. We we missed it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. That I maintain. Okay. okay. Yeah. So now Thank you click on this create button. So it will ask you the what is the material code? Example tractor blade. Okay and click OK. So now you can see okay, number of Kanbans. Here you need to enter. For example, I want only three Kanbans. Five means, or three. Three, three five yeah, means in, three boxes, right? Yeah, three boxes, correct. Mm -hmm. And yeah. each box is containing 50 blades. Yeah. Okay, each box is containing 50 blades that is container quantity and then next is the stock which transfer. strategy you want to use stock transfer wow. okay here you mm. enter the strategy okay transfer posting yesterday we took uh, working with direct transfer posting directly it is getting transferred you want to test another thing example like transfer with reservation it will create a reservation number and you need to do the, all the process. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I am taking this one only triple zero to first yeah. working with the direct transfer and then press enter so here it will ask you you are doing the transfer from which storage location this is warehouse storage location you need to give okay warehouse storage location for example this storage location is like study we maintain in triple zero two where is the stock where we maintain oh this is a new material code we are not maintaining any stock maybe uh -oh. right. yeah i am checking just the stock mmbe for a tractor blade okay where the stock is i think you find it because i work on it yeah there is no stock okay so for example we will keep the stock in warehouse storage location that is nothing but a triple zero two assume that triple zero two is your warehouse stock okay so this is the setup you need to enter is it clear yeah okay so here you can maintain warehouse storage location this location is triple zero two okay your supply area storage location is triple zero one yeah okay mm -hmm. now uh mr also can you put the date and the left hand side in a... oh sorry okay uh, right there yeah yeah five eight my i'm putting okay uh, thank you thank you mr. thank Martin. you sir yeah thank you okay recording is going on okay yes, now yeah. yeah now i am just clicking on save button okay mm -hmm. Uh, it is saying tractor is not assigned. Okay, storage location is not assigned, not maintained. So we need to maintain this storage location. I am just coming out. What is the transaction code to maintain storage location? Yesterday I told you. M M R E. M M S C. Yes. Sir. Uh, S C S C S C. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Oh, we we didn't uh, we didn't open the Excel sheet. Okay. Anyhow, you didn't you didn't send it yesterday. Yeah, I will send today. Okay. No problem. So you need yeah. to extend all these storage locations whichever you want to use this yes. material. Okay. So yeah. to extend that is is the transaction code tractor blade enter and put just your storage location. Okay and save it so now once again i'm going to maintain control cycle click on change click create button enter material code and then enter number of kanbans like three and each kanban is having 50 quantity and select this is triple zero two strategy. So the third one, the third one, no, not sorry. exterior. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Walker. Yeah, yeah, correct. You're right. Let's remove. Otherwise, so we have to have another setup for the external procurement. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see that. Okay. We'll do it and for record and yeah. then that, yeah. Yeah, correct. So now here we enter the storage location. This is a stock transfer. Okay. And save it. Yeah. Okay. Save it. This is the setup required for Kanban. I see. Okay. So it means uh, when you save it, there is a green light come means everything is fine. Correct. That means whatever the enter you enter the data is properly maintained mm -hmm. you can see here status this is nothing but a status mm -hmm. okay status green means you maintain properly all the data yeah so which transaction code was this 
you used PKMC. PKMC, yeah. Yeah. Uh, PKMC, it come uh, to get you to come back to see the the order. Order. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not the order. The control cycle. Yeah, control uh, cycle. Change. Yeah, the same, the same transaction code. The same transaction for the change and creation. Correct. Okay, okay, got change, it. Creation, display, everything is same transaction code. PKMC. Okay, 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 okay got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only single transaction code. Okay, I am coming back now. Okay, now next is transactional data. It is nothing but a one dashboard go here this dashboard before that we will maintain some stock we are not put any stock here for tractor so i am going to migo transaction code jamal is it clear any questions no okay so we are putting some stock in the location blade quantity maybe 500 storage location Jamal in which storage location we need to keep now where are storage location zero 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 two yeah it is a triple zero two is warehouse and post it okay stock is posted now if you go and see mmba transaction code your stock is there in zero zero two correct and as soon as you okay 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 if you this are okay now as soon as you run the uh, kanban should should move this quantity the quantity from yeah. here to zero 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 one exactly okay no. now mm -hmm. i'm i'm opening now dashboard dashboard transaction navigation is logistics production kanban controls control Kanban board demand source PK so the demand location yeah PK 13 and here use enter plant and enter your supply area and press enter so what is this source uh, function yes I think you told yesterday uh dashboard it is dashboard dashboard this yeah. is the dashboard yeah this is yeah. where the operator will look what are the how many boxes he is having hmm. demand source means hmm. this operator will check what are the materials and he will make the status is empty or full hmm. based on that he that means based on that is more he is consuming that materials mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so in our setup we put the three boxes three can bars so that is mm -hmm. the reason mm -hmm. it came here okay mm -hmm. and each can bar will have a color yeah okay what is the color means here you can see you click this button you it will show you the colors indications mm -hmm. okay that means and each Kanban quantity is 50. So each box is having the 50. Mm -hmm. Okay. As we are starting this now, so first you need to make this as a empty. Just a simple click to empty. Mm -hmm. So that is the first. Okay. So complete red means it is empty. Okay. Now it is empty means that information will go to a operator and not operator it will go to the warehouse okay now how the operator oh, sorry now how the warehouse person will look like this one this screen is for the your uh, 
assembly unit area operator this is screen for your assembly person but the person who is in the warehouse how he knows whether it got emptied or not means for him there is separate dashboard that is supply he is supplying warehouse person is supplying he is having this same kind of dashboard and he will open this transaction code pk 12 n okay pk 12 n he will open and he can say by storage location his response is from triple zero two and press center so now here you can see okay tractor he came to know okay this one box is empty okay he yeah. understood this box is empty now what he will do is he will fill this box and he will or he will put this different statuses status in progress means he is filling it and he filled that box and he sent to warehouse uh, the production supply so then he will make the status as transit yeah but uh, when the one zero zero one box is empty hmm. and then one box come in a second line only zero zero one why the other two box come two and three two and three there are <clears throat> this kanban means this supply area this material is having the three boxes we created a three a uh, three kanbans it will show you whether it came physically it did not came these two but the status these are nothing but a status not physical boxes mm -hmm. okay this warehouse person also should know what is the status of, of these two also mm -hmm. this is a status not physical boxes i see mm -hmm. in his view mm -hmm. he he can check what is the status of these two i see okay you can see if you go to the airport you will see the flight status mm -hmm. that doesn't mean flight is there near you okay it is arriving or it is departure the statuses will be there that means mm -hmm. that is the status of that particular I item I not think, the yeah. physical it I is there near course. to you okay, okay? okay so this is also the same thing mm -hmm. okay so this is another view where the warehouse person can see and he will process it to the next steps mm -hmm. okay yeah now i am going back to the again demand source operators area so here he understood it is made empty and warehouse person feel that he sent back to again assembling area mm -hmm. when he sent back again to the assembling area then he will yeah. make this status as correct so we, we will go need to make it to ln correct we need to select this and make it as a full so when you go pk 12 n Mm. This box automatically come in the system, right? If you automatically in the system, it came correct. Right. Not as a status wise. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I make the full, then its status become as a green. So uh, you you can click first uh, 001 and then you click the oh sorry click the 001 and then you go to transaction code PK to align. No, no. See, the first screen was uh, PK 13N, right? Correct, correct. This is PK 13N. Okay. So, how when you go to PK 12N, then hmm. these three boxes come in the 3N, right? Correct. So, can you go back to <laughs> PK? No, no, no. Toilet. You are getting confused. Don't confuse. Only you think the, you are the operator. Okay. Uh -huh. 13N only. Here, you are responsible. Either you want to make it as empty or full. That's all. You don't uh -huh. bother about what warehouse person is doing. Okay. First, let's understand what is empty and what is full. Empty means. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Vasu. Uh, can I yeah. ask a question? 
I think yes, I have the possibility only to make it empty and to send it back to him. Uh, and he, he will fill it up and he will put the flag, uh, fill it up maybe. He will say, this one, it's fill it up, it come back to me. Maybe, is that right Correct. or not? Correct. You agree with me? He will okay, send so it back I'm, to you as full. Yeah, so that means as an operator myself, I, do, I cannot fill it up. Maybe yeah, I can fill it up. Fill it. Yeah, I can fill it up with something to return. Maybe he sent me some uh, blade, bag blade. I can tell yeah. him, okay, I return back for you these two blades. You should return it to the vendor, maybe, for example, they are in bad shape, you know. Is that, is that it, it can be, happen so like this or not? Like a trans, reverse transfer posting, you know. No, I here there is no reverse, actually. Okay. Yeah. For example, yeah. uh, you received this box, okay? Physically, you received this box, okay? Empty. But you have verified this box. You find this is the wrong material. So then you don't, you won't make this as a full. Then he will tell the operator, means warehouse person, this is not the correct material. Physically, you will send it back, that's all. Here, there is no option to reverse it or something. Here, okay. as a simple assembling operator, either you will make as a full or empty, that's all. Empty means box is empty, you are used all the material. Okay? Okay, can yeah. you go back to PK toil again? No, 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 don't worry. You understood this one first? What is empty means? Hey, empty, empty means. it is clear. Empty, 100% clear. Okay. Nothing now, is, in there, is empty. Now, as per you, as an assembling operator, mm -hmm. this empty box information went to a warehouse person, that's all. Yeah. Okay. okay. He physically filled this and he sent it to you. Send it to you, yeah. Okay, and you verified this box is full now. You received the material. So then yeah. you need to make this as a full. No, it come it come alone full. Status can only be changed after oh shit. Okay, another two minutes. Okay. Yeah, you are asking uh, something. No, no, I am asking when when he fill it up in the warehouse, he changed yes. the statue, he said full and he sent it back to us. No. No, no, he cannot no? make that as a full, correct. Because oh. I yeah, I am the operator assembling. I need to tell whether it is a full or not. Oh. For example, okay, if sorry. send a, yeah, if yeah. he send a wrong material in and he made it a full means, it is no meaning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Correct? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I am the correct person. A production person is a correct person, whether he send the correct material or not. I'll okay, verify okay, this yeah. box and I'll make this as a full, that's all. Okay, how it come to him, uh, since it is, uh, uh, he will see it, you know, how I can make it to uh, to, uh, to to full? It come to back to me, uh, with which color in this case? When the which? box come from here, how I yeah. will see it here? I will see it again, now red? The, now the red box is showing is empty. Yeah. Empty, he, yes. When he got a full, his colors change. You need to make it as a full. You verify and make it as a full now. Okay. Select it and click full. You are yeah, more confusing on system and physical. Yeah, I agree with you. System and physical okay. is something different. You yeah. are thinking that if I make the empty, it will disappear. It won't disappear. This is only the status. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is only yeah. the status. Physically, that box, now empty means physically, this box went to a warehouse. He's filling it. Okay. And he will okay. fill and send to you. Now, you can select, for example, physically that box has come back. Okay. Now select yeah. and click on the full. Yeah. It is still saying 24 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Man. I need to wait another. Okay. So select it and yeah. click on full. Now you yeah. can see green. Oh, got it. That means this box is full now. I'm I'm starting using it now. 
Okay, <coughs> but if you send you if you send you the wrong uh, product, uh, what no. uh, what you will keep it? You, you keep it what in this case? I didn't Still understand. empty only. You will keep, keep it, it empty only, and manually yeah. he, you will call to that warehouse guy. Yeah. Take it this box. You send yeah. the wrong material because he has not done any posting. You are doing yeah. the posting in the back end. Uh, I am doing the posting. I thought he is okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. He okay, is not okay. doing the postings. Okay. Okay. Can Can we see the posting? Yeah. Yeah. Now we can see the postings. Jamal, is it clear? Somehow, uh, <clears throat> understand. But let's go. Move on. We'll see what happens off next. You need to once practice it. Okay. You are thinking empty means it will physically go and no, it is SAP. Here, mm -hmm. this empty or full only, you will do as an operator, assembling operator. But when you click and uh, full, the color was mm -hmm. not changing, and then you wait about a certain time. Yeah, I think some system setup around 10 minutes is there, I think. I see. Okay. So that means minimum 10 minutes it will take to make uh, material empty and full. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. okay. So now okay. you can double click this and you can see this document is posted mm -hmm. 584 is the document posted or oh, you can double click on uh, 001 yeah i see just double click on this kanban mm -hmm. this information will come what document and everything is posted when it is posted and everything you can see time and everything yeah correct now if you go and see the stock if you go and check this MMBE transaction, transaction now. So earlier <laughs> in triple zero, it is 500 is there. Now yeah. I'm we moved one Kanban. Yeah, 450 it will become, and triple zero one fifty will be there. You can see. And it worked perfect. <laughs> so the purpose of Kanban is you are not using any movement types any transactions you are not using okay mm -hmm. only you are using either it is empty or full that's all mm -hmm. okay you are okay. using great this is an empty or full no momentum yeah. type or anything no yes. moment types, nothing correct mm -hmm. can you do it the second one zero zero Which two one? this zero, one zero, yeah zero zero two yeah, um, this is Empty. empty make it empty okay empty, but you need to wait 10 minutes you can see empty uh -huh. 10 okay. minutes yeah it is asking to make the full uh, now it is 7 7 is there now if you want to make the full it is 17 hmm. it is expecting 17 somewhere that setup is there 10 minutes gap to make uh, this and full and empty hmm. okay You can try. Okay. Is it clear concept? Kanban? Yeah. Okay. Ten I minutes will. Later. Yeah. Ten minutes. You have to wait. And... Yeah. I will go to the another material. Have you created any other material tractor related? Uh, no. It was tire. I think you can use yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. It tire was... and blade is used. Okay. I'm creating uh, tire, another material. Tire, tire blade and. Uh... Uh, yeah, that was this one. Okay. And no, no, I it? have, I have one more. I have one more exhaust system. Oh, exhaust system. Okay, good. Okay. For example, yeah. this is another material you created, and you want to trigger this Kanban for purchasing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to trigger another scenario is purchasing external procurement. That is scenario is external procurement. Hmm. Okay. So Means how this, external? This, this material we have to buy external procurement or external yeah. uh, uh, transfer. External, there is no transfer. You need to procure. Achha, external okay. transfer will not be there. You I need to procure. Procure, okay. 
okay first is the material that is exhaust something you told mm03 that material is exhaust system this is the material okay so next is this is step is not required you can use the existing one supply area same supply area you can use it okay sa02 we created you can use the same supply area mm -hmm. supply area means yeah. this production okay this area yeah. okay so if material wise you don't require to create it you can keep one supply area and all the materials you can create under this one mm -hmm. okay yeah so supply area the combined same. change the combined yeah. change yeah this combined. kanban yeah. cycle will change yeah oh, kanban material. cycle yes correct pkmc and the same supply area it can PKMC. change more pkmc <clears throat> okay is a before that it was a now it's a pkmc and before it was a pkms right no mc only it was pkmc only control PK... cycle oh i'm sorry i would just put the wrong pkmc correct. is the correct right yeah, correct oh, yeah okay and before this we need to create the info record also me 11 because we are oh. buying outside right correct i see exhaust system uh -huh. enter i'll write here also what is the okay and for record should already uh, just, okay sorry already uh, some info record is already yeah available. i created oh, yeah okay yeah. I, I created this so we don't require to create again yeah okay so I'm PKMC directly. I'm going here. Hmm. Click change button and click create click button. Create button, yeah. And enter your material code. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here number of Kanbans. For example, this exhaust you want to five boxes, mm -hmm. and each box is maybe having the ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you want to use the strategy as external procured. Yes. Whenever it is empty, you want to procure external. Mm -hmm. So you have the option, two options you have. Container control, MRP. We'll see this is MRP and this is summarized. We'll see this is MRP actually. Okay. You need to run the MRP. Okay. So you select this 3006 and press enter. And here it is asking what is a purchase organization and vendor where is, where is a purchase? i see purchase organization yeah, yeah. once you press center select and this one the settings will come okay is the same so, uh, purchase organization from uh, me 11 yeah correct what is a purchase organization you use there seven 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 okay seven 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 Okay, vendors 754 I think yeah okay okay and yeah and issuing plant you not own oh, not required issuing plant is not required okay and save it you must specify schedule agreement for this process okay it is not MM, info record and mm mm02 mm, m not me02 okay it is asking expecting schedule agreement not the info record i'm just going out this is all master data by mm people okay mm -hmm. schedule agreement uh, is it correct This is source list. Nicholas, what is the transaction for schedule agreement? Uh, 
I, I don't know by heart sometimes all the transaction. I know uh, for purchase order. Can you can you go million. back to MM uh, MM02 MM, and material management? Yes. You cannot go to MM02. But, uh, MM02, not, yeah. you won't find any uh, schedule agreements. Scheduling ag agreement is there in um, uh, I think M1 or uh, M2 someplace. It could be in the uh, outline agreement. Yeah. Where is that? Uh, higher, higher it will be. Maybe you can find it in oh, outline okay. agreement. You can find it maybe. Schedule agreement. Okay. Yeah, this one. This ME331, is... yeah. So vendor example 754 is a vendor. Uh -huh. To tell you the truth, we don't use a lot of schedule agreement. There are not too yeah. much. Correct. What is the purchasing group? Maybe triple zero one. Valid end date. So I'm maintaining all mandatory data. Okay. And enter the material. You have exhaust. Exhaust. Yeah. And target quantity maybe some thousand. Conversion, okay. Okay, store the location directly. We'll keep it in our production location and save it. So schedule agreement for this material is created. Now once again, I'm going to the control cycle creation. Change, create, enter your material. And external. Select six. So enter purchase organization. Vendor seven five. Maybe they need a agreement number two. You specify the agreement number. Okay. So yeah. Down. Here you need to enter your agreement. This That's is true. agreement number. Okay. Now you save it. Okay. Yeah. You have green. saved it. Yeah, green. Okay. Now this is a master data setup required. And now you will Back. open your yeah. PK MD01N. 13 okay. N. Okay. I don't. You don't want to do M, uh, MRP M, MG zero one N. First, uh, nothing will be there here. Oh, you have so much. Such a requirements, everything is there for you. This oh. is a, what transaction code is this? PK thirteen. This is MD zero four. Yeah, but you go early. You say yeah, PK thirteen. I will go to now. Now here. Now mass data setup is over. Mm -hmm. Now you need to do your transactions. Mm -hmm. Okay. PK that is PK mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What here you will do is we don't okay. need to do MRV. No, not required. Ah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, okay. This empty and everything it will do actually. You can see here. Yeah. I came to PK 13 and I used the same supply area. Now you can yeah. see another material is there. Yeah. Okay. And 
here we created with five boxes now you can no. see five boxes first mm -hmm. this box you need to make empty okay before empty just double click here you can see nothing is there here okay mm -hmm. now once you make it is empty okay zero zero one i made the empty so if you double click this one you will understood container empty with replenishment okay but it says a 10 quantity requested 10 i'm sorry yeah correct each container we mm -hmm. put to 10, 10. And let's yeah. yes. okay so it is clear requested now 10 mm -hmm. okay now yeah. we will see the stock do we have any stock here for exhaust So you can see there is no stock okay and if you go to the md04 our normal transaction code we will see what happened when you make it is empty okay some other transactions are there okay with the 10 nothing is there okay let me do full no status can be changed after 10 minutes only okay so actually what will happen is uh, when you make empty and then that information will go to the supply person he will make the he will uh, send that material to this location once he send you will make this as a full but this information went to a vendor not the storage location to storage location transfer it is externally yeah. purchased external purchase yeah correct okay so this is how you can do and previous material tractor blade now the second one you can make it is full mm -hmm. can i make full yeah. 10 minutes is more for that so now yeah. you can see it is become green okay so you you won't bother about what backend is happening as an operator you just make it is full or empty that's all that is a concept actually what are the remaining things is one time setup will be done by the consultant but as an operator you don't require to do migo or you don't require to create purchase order nothing is required only he will do as empty and full hmm. is a simple you won't do co 11 n or you won't do any uh imigo or nothing hmm. okay only the person he will do only full or empty the back end mm -hmm. system will do or some other operator will do it yeah so can you click the two now it's uh, full you say yeah another yeah. document is created so full yeah okay. container status is full and you can see the <clears throat> so, so the color which is a violet color is these hmm. are all uh, empty right yeah empty only at the starting that's a starting actually, yeah. yeah starting actually not empty empty means green uh, this red right yeah it is in the starting that means mm -hmm. yeah it's a status showing that yeah correct okay is it clear yeah okay so you can practice once so first uh, stock transfer you can practice mm -hmm. 
then you can practice external materials yeah and in house production also you can practice yeah okay nicolas any questions no it's a clear absolutely clear yeah I, li I like the way it's very very interesting you know okay 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 yeah so like this you can enter multiple materials it is not only one material or, or two okay yet uh, your assembling area what are the materials you want to use mm -hmm. so all those you you can maintain in the same supply area so mm -hmm. single dashboard you can use it mm -hmm. for multiple materials and you will just make it as a full or empty mm -hmm. just simple mm -hmm. okay so i will stop the class now okay we will continue the class tomorrow okay. and it will take Thanks another so five minutes okay another five minutes to make this as a full yeah okay okay yeah. okay then okay we will sure. meet tomorrow okay sure. with a sure. new topic sure. okay good night okay bye bye yeah. good night thanks a lot okay. good night bye. thanks bye, -bye.